Hey guys, that's so you're ready for today's December 5th, 2026, 40 p.m. Central Time. So I'm going to read you the email I got from a YouTuber asking about this. Um, that's why this video exists. It's going to probably be a little bit long. I'm going to show you the bills and actually go over exactly what it is this was. Because the NDAA 2017 anti-propaganda is what I'm calling it bill, okay? It's a section within the NDAA of 2017 that has to do with disinformation and anti-propaganda fighting it as the federal government, uh, as a federal government, okay? When that first came out, I believe I touched on it in pa on my Patreon account, but it's entirely too far back to find, and no, I did not do a video on it. It is not what people are thinking it is. It was misconstrued. It was blown out of proportion, and period, end of story, Okay. Now, the NDAA 2021 this year that will be passing for next year um, that Trump wants in Section 230 to be added to it that has to do with big tech. Most of you, all of you should know what Section 230 is by now. It's protecting big tech and basically all social media websites for that matter, including the little ones, um, from being responsible for the content in which is posted on their platform. Now, big tech is abusing Section 230, as we all know, by censoring anything they anything that is put on their platform that is not considered dangerous pornography or whatever. Um, by censoring it, they are absolutely violating Section 230. Trump wants that in the bill. He has threatened he will veto it if it is not in the bill. I'm going to show you NDAA 2021. I'm going to show you NDAA 2021. 17 2018 2019 and 2020 and 2021 okay i pulled this all the way back because in order to understand what this anti-propaganda disinformation shit was is you have to actually follow through to see if they even created this and they did so but going back to section 230 trump wants it in he's gonna veto it supposedly got news for you pass the senate pass the house they're in conference right now um, it's going to pass without it. It does not currently have Section 230 in it. I do not foresee it at all being put in it. Trump may veto it if he does. Absolutely both chambers have enough uh, votes to overpower that veto. So this will become law with or without Trump. Um, regarding them being all right, let me read you the email, okay? It says, hi, thanks for your channel. I don't know a lot about this stuff, but you explain things very well. I was wondering if you ever did a video on about Obama and the Counter Disinformation Anti-Propaganda Act. I was looking it up and some sites say it allows the media to propagandize us, which seems likely the way CNN is behaving as shown in Project Veritas recent videos, which have been interesting actually. Now, I was looking up whoops i was just looking up uh this morning thinking perhaps obama and dems had started a civil war against republicans libertarians etc those who love liberty then i came across this article about trump saying he would veto the defense bill if section 230 wasn't taken out of the ndaa are these the same thing is trump trying to get rid of the propaganda thing or are they different have you done a video on this i was rather shocked to be looking up something like the ndaa from obama's term and then found out trump was dealing with it now it seems really important to get rid of the ability for the media to propagandize us but i don't know what can be done with it at this point uh so i'm wondering your thoughts on this subject p.s thanks again for all your videos first of all no uh, the 230, Section 230 and what happened in the 2017 NDAA under Obama is not the same thing whatsoever. Um, Section 230 specifically has to do with big tech. The anti-propaganda, I'm going to go into what this was. In fact, let's do it right now. Um, it created, a, it has everything to do with foreign interference regarding propaganda. It has nothing to do with domestic. Uh, it's Section 1287 in the it says december 23rd 2016 public law this was the ndaa 2017 that got enacted by obama okay section 1287 it's called global engagement center so if you find that section it establishes a department within the department of state called global engagement center it's going to be referred to as center uh as we move on 
says the purpose, the purpose of the center shall be to lead, scrutinize, and coordinate efforts of the federal government to recognize, understand, expose, and counter foreign state and non-state propaganda and disinformation efforts aimed at undermining the United States national security interests. The center shall carry out the following functions. This is important to know. It exists. I'm not going to read all of this. Integrate interagency and international efforts to track and evaluate counterfactual narratives abroad that threaten the national security interests of the United States and United States allies and partner nations. Analyze relevant information, data, <coughs> analyze, and analytics from United States government agencies, United States allies, and partner nations, think tanks, academic institutions, civil society groups, and other non-governmental organizations. As needed, the support, the development and dis uh, dissemination of fact-based narratives and analysis to counter propaganda and disinformation directed at the United States, United States allies, and partner nations. Identify current and emerging trends in foreign propaganda and disinformation in order to coordinate and shape the development of tactics, techniques, procedures to expose and refute foreign misinformation and disinformation, and proactively promote fact-based narratives and policies to audiences outside the United States. Facilitate the use of wide range of technologies and techniques by sharing expertise among federal departments and agencies, seeking expertise from external sources and implementing best practices, identifying gaps in the United States capabilities in areas relevant to the purpose of the center and recommend necessary enhancements or changes. Identify the countries and populations most susceptible to propaganda and disinformation based on the information provided by appropriate interagency entities. Administer the information access fund established pursuant to Section F. Coordinate with the United States allies and partners, nations in order to amplify the center's efforts and avoid duplication. Maintain, collect, use, and disseminate records <clears throat> for research data analysis of foreign state and non-state propaganda and disinformation efforts and communication related to public diplomacy efforts intended for foreign agent audiences such research and data analysis shall be reasonably tailored to meet the purpose of this paragraph and shall be carried out with due regard for privacy and civil liberties audience and oversight and it goes into the heads of the center how they're putting it together uh, the employees, compliance with civil liberties and laws. Uh, then it talks about the amounts. So this is where it kind of got interesting to see if they even created this center. It says for fiscal year 2017 are less than 80 million. It says uh, blah, blah, blah. S Secretary of State, an amount not exceeding 60 million for 2017. Fiscal year 2018, eight, less than 80 million, 60 million, same thing. For 2018 so this only funded this particular NDA only funded this what they call let's go back global engagement center for two years so the question was did they even put it together uh, and they did I'll go into that in a second this was the article that was in the email that I got by we are change this is a type of information articles interpretations of bills that suck okay because they completely throw people off into thinking something is what it's not obama's christmas gift dangerous anti-propaganda bill signed into law with 2017 ndaa posted december 24 2016 has half a star which is cute and accurate should have zero stars late friday night while Americans were distracted by the holidays, President Obama quietly signed the 2017 National Defense Authorization Act into law, which authorizes a military spending budget, blah, 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 and includes a dangerous counter disinformation and anti-propaganda act, which is inaccurate. There is no such thing as this act. OK, it's a center to do that. But it has nothing to do with an act. This bill, as we previously reported, will criminalize fake news propaganda on the web. A key piece of legislation meant to crack down on free speech and independent media. In layman's terms, the act will allow the government to crack down with impunity against any media outlet it deems 
propaganda. The next piece of legislation will provide substantial amounts of money to fund the, quote, center prop- counter-propaganda to make sure the government approved stories drown out alternative media and journalists who question the status quo. That is the most misinformation, disinformation, propaganda bullshit that was just put online, okay, about this. It's hilarious. Propaganda created to talk about anti-propaganda. Cute. Totally wrong. Totally does not. It, it, it's 100% inaccurate. This was... This was absolutely reported this way many, many times in 2016 into 2017 because that's when it came out and everybody was like, oh, it's anti-propaganda shit. So that bill, okay, was S2943 that I just went over, NDAA, fiscal year 2017. Uh, John McCain, of course, was the person who put it together. 2018, I'm going to go over these other bills because I'm going to show you how this this actually evolved. Uh Anyway, it says H.R. 2810, NDAA 2018, and then H.R. 5515, John S. McCain National Defense Authorization Act, fiscal year 2019. That was the NDAA for that year. S. 1790, NDAA 2020, and then this year, which is H.R. 6395, NDAA fiscal year 2019. 21. Again, this absolutely has nothing to do with Section 230. But I did look it up, obviously, as I looked up the other ones to see, for one, if the Global Engagement Center existed in it, and two, if Section 230 ever made it, and they didn't. And I watched the Senate floor and stuff when they were talking, and they basically said it wasn't going to exist. So we're in now NDA 2017. We're going to see if the Global Engagement Center was indeed put together and how they started using it. So in this section, it, it mentions it in a few different sections, okay? Uh, section 1094, National Strategy for Countering Violent Extremism. Okay, and it says elements, the comprehensive interagency national strategy required by paragraph one shall include the following identification of interagency tools for combating and countering violent extremism, including countering violent extremism, messaging, ideology, support, combat, violent extremism, financing, intelligence, gathering and cooperation. Uh, law enforcement activities, sanctions, counterterrorism, counterintelligence activities, support to any civil society groups, commercial entities, allies, or counter radicalization activities, and support by the armed forces of the United States to combat violent extremism. Okay, so this has to do with a national strategy that has nothing to do with the United States. And Global Engagement Center is mentioned here. Scrutinized process for which the use of interagency tools to combat violent extremism, including the roles and responsibilities of Global Engagement Center, as well as the National Security Council in coordination with interagency tools. So where else does it say it? It talks about it later on. It talks about it, um, same section, talks about NATO and getting with NATO allies and talking about countering Russian Federation, okay? So this particular bill focused a lot on Russia disinformation, okay? Um, Which was kind of interesting because it was very specific, unlike other bills. So uh, that's how that went down in this bill. So A, it was created. B, they started using it at NATO, and global partners, so that was actually pretty impressive to do within one year. And C, they were focusing mostly on Russian disinformation propaganda bullshit that was hitting the U.S. or anywhere else in the world, which is why NATO got involved. So this was NDAA of 2019, came out August 13, 2018. So section, and I looked obviously through all these, 1284 is the modifications to the Global Engagement Center. So modifications happened in 2019. Those modifications were kind of interesting, kind of not. Modifications to Global uh, Engagement Center, what it does is it amends the original wording of 2017. For example, I'm going to give you one example and I'm going to move on because it does not amend anything 
that is pertinent that would change the purpose per se of the global engagement center it basically expands its purpose okay because they've been dealing with this for two years and they've made it go global so for example it wants to amend the original purpose and i'll read the original purpose then i'll read you the purpose they want to change it to if i can go back and find it in this document so it says the purpose here it says the purpose of the center shall be to lead scrutinize and coordinate efforts of the federal government to recognize understand expose and counter foreign state non-state propaganda and disinformation efforts aimed at undermining united states national security interests that's all it was meant to deal with now they changed it because it has been evolved it says purpose the purpose of the center shall be to direct lead scrutinize integrate and coordinate efforts of the federal government to recognize understand expose counter foreign state and foreign non-state propaganda and the disinformation efforts aimed at undermining or influencing the policies security or stability of the united states united states allies and partner nations so they open this engagement center to the world okay in this particular ndaa so it has evolved now in 2020 ndaa came out december 20th 2019 they talk about uh principal information operation advisor it has to do with national defense they're using it there now that's it that's all it talks about is it talks about the um dod working with global engagement center when needed okay now the question was well now what are they doing <laughs> in 2021 for this particular ndaa that is in conference right now what's interesting is it is not mentioned anywhere in the 2021 ndaa so it makes me question one they didn't fund it past 2021 so the question is where is the funding going to come from for 22 23 and so forth and so on have they made it so global <laughs> that the funding is coming from someone like the united nations that's something that is really far-fetched to think because it started here in the united states but it is a possibility so this global what is it called global engagement center is what the misinformation propaganda bullshit was in the 2017 bill that again evolved and has since not been funded in 2021 section 230 again big tech has to do with them it has nothing to do with the global program that they created <laughs> section 230 i think is very important to have and all in this video um because of startups yes big tech is absolutely abusing it which is why there needs to be amendments to it, it needs to be rewritten something needs to change in 230 but repealing it is not the answer and pretty much everyone has said that in the federal government uh that it needs to be amended ditched no amended yes i think there should absolutely be something in it saying that if you choose to censor something on your site whether it be like twitter for example putting notations that this could be this is not how do, how do they put it on his tweets this is not um verified or some shit when he talks about the election to basically warn people that it could possibly be fake information as soon as they start putting notations deleting anything uh i still my are you ready for it twitter account is still locked i have contacted twitter three times they will not unlock it they will not respond to me i have no idea what their problem is but my are you ready for it twitter is locked period end of story so my wolverine uh usmc wolverine is in the description you can go ahead and find that and sub there because that's where i tweet from but as soon as you start doing those types of things you automatically lose your 230 status period it's a one-time thing you violate it you're gone there's no three strikes 
Okay, then they need to s create a section 240 or something and have that net that be their new section. OK, so there needs to be like an additional section to 230 for people who violate 230. So it's very complicated. Just repealing it is not the answer. So Trump is not going to get his Christmas wish. It will get probably vetoed by him. It will get overridden and NDAA 2021 will go into law. This is all you're ready for. Take care, guys. Have a great evening.